Check, check, check. Boom. Sweet. What up? Finally got this shit sorted out. And uh, I think I got my lighting set up. Looks good. Took a bit of a nap there. I woke up pretty early, started doing some shit. I didn't get it done until now. But still task. You know, when I first thought of making this show years ago, I didn't think of doing this. I didn't think of doing this because I wanted to make something legitimate. I want to make some cool shit like these channels. They're supposed to be fleeting. That's See? what makes them so special. Look at that. It's about spontaneity. It's about that's the community. Gangsta. It's about the experience. Look at that intro. And that's one thing you can't get from them. And they got good the writing and very informational. And all the those Joe things. Rogan it's just fantastic. Just easy. You know, like but much quicker. I want to make stuff like, like that. Old fan brush. It gives you a little. And I tried to. I honestly did. I think I'm well, like obviously I didn't try hard enough. Some of these guys are just like they just no. It's just not my style. It really isn't my style. And then I was reading on on the internet about shows like mine. Like this show. And basically all I found was I'm gonna get monetized for show. I mean, this fucking PG world, it's just, it's cool when you're growing up. You're like, what is all this? What's cool, you know? From what I've learned is the market is the market is the market. Which means that if a large percentage of the market is driven super liberal where like you can't say any profanity there's gonna be a market for the opposite of that not saying that straight up barbaricness and fucked up shit on the internet i mean there's gonna be a market for that too but cool lay back just have total freedom of what I can and cannot say or what I can say what can I say obviously I wouldn't say it I mean I'm not a fucked up person but I do have certain fucked up humor <laughs> to some people that live this PG PG world it's just not me homie I tried doing it, but the older I get, the more I realize it's like, I don't give a fuck how you feel about what I just said. Take it as truth or don't, you know, like, just chill the fuck out. What I like to see in a show is what I'm doing, because the things I do are the coolest shit ever. Why else would I be doing it, right? So, why don't I just make it? I'm not making it myself. There's sh there's shows out there that dudes are smoking and hanging out and shit. Of course, I'm gonna keep putting it out there because I don't give a fuck. But if I could get you support, now that's what's up. I'll smoke for that. I'll smoke to that. Mm. Gently. Sometimes you gotta do it gently. I like the roller. Some people like rolling them themselves, and I'm cool with that too, shit. Do your thing. But how this thing does it versus how your stupid hand does it? Fucking ten times better, homeboy. You just gotta make sure you loosen up one side, otherwise it's just gonna be too much. Some cool beats. Fucking rolling a J. Can't complain. 
like I said, I was I've been trying to make a channel for the longest time, and I have done channels before. They just never been successful because I didn't care about them. I didn't care. I was doing it because I was doing it because I really wanted to. I wanted to express my creativity as a filmmaker. I went to school for film. Are you telling me I can't make some shit that is good for YouTube? And I have done some shit. But none of it have I been happy with. There's a lot of butts, a lot of complaining, a lot of a lot of bullshit going on here. Fuck this, homie. Fuck this. You know. Life is fortunate to those who take life by the balls. Dang. That's a quote from somewhere. Um, there's uh, I think um, more of my years of of living in this fucking planet, I think I developed some type of wisdom. And for what it's worth. I'm gonna be dropping it in in this channel in this channel the little bit of wisdom I have I will bestow it upon you I wish I could do the donuts that would be so cool right now just do them I'm gonna get fucking high. <laughs> I got something in my face. Well, so what? You got something in your face. All right, let's take it easy on that. <laughs> I had a set of questions or subjects and and different ideas I wanted to share in this episode but I was so caught up with setting up my lights to this point to the point where I like it and it looks good and I looked at it and it's like oh okay now you can see my face before it was dark as fuck check this out check, check this out that is dark that's me testing shit and that's been like that's just two weeks of me doing that being a lazy fuck. Now I'm just gonna be like, fuck it. Do what you can with what you have where you are. Simple as that, really. I mean, if you keep having something you wanna do and you keep not setting time to do it, and then you wonder back at, like, man, what the fuck did I do this whole time? Like, why don't I just get started and upload it and see what happened? And that's where I'm at now. I've reached the point where, like, I haven't done anything. That I'm just going to do something where I feel is fun. I enjoy it. See if people are fans, you know? Obviously, got to come up with some good shit. You can't just fucking be blabbering out bullshit. Because nobody wants to hear that. Nobody, nobody got, got time, time for that. that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> I mean, just tune in to the president and then you'll know. <gasps> oh, that guy is hilarious. I mean, like, as a president, he probably should not be president. Like, we're probably living some crazy reality show uh, world right now where the president is uh, some multimillionaire that faked his way there, then somehow weaseled himself into the presidency 
and now he is acting like a child over potentially releasing his taxes where he has admitted multiple times that there there are nothing wrong with his taxes but yet he st still doesn't release them it's like it's like saying yeah yeah i'm gonna do that right now but your homie never does it the the reality is that is the human condition though It's just nobody was crazy enough to be like, hey, I already made it to a millionaire. I'm going to go live my life super sweet status. And not have to deal with the world's controversy. Yet this guy is like, I need more attention. And nothing against the guy, though. You know what I mean? If he really feels like he would be a good president... And he wants to change the world. He should. In fact, Homie is like the biggest inspiration to me. This guy with like half a brain made himself the fucking most powerful man on the fucking planet. Is it? Is America the most powerful country? Like, that's a good question. What? What is the most power? Powerful country? What does Google got to say to that question? Oh, wow. Yeah, the United States. Okay. The United States. The United States is the most powerful country. In <laughs> wow. <laughs> Russia, Russia is the largest country in the world by area, entirely covering Northern Asia and majority of the Eastern Europe. China, the most populated. I, I, I think there is a list for this, but um, I think there's a ranking. What country is the most free? I love, I love it when Google knows what I'm talking about. Countries in the world with the most freedom. Business Insider. Uh, freedom means different things to different people. But freedom, freedom House in the independent watchdog organization that release an annual report articles, government documents, and other sources. The data was then used to score. Okay. Okay. We get it. Word words. Denmark. Ninety seven. Okay. Uh New Zealand ninety eight. Yeah, New Zealand is fucking dope. New Zealand changed their laws within like a couple weeks after a school shooting. Yeah, they definitely have freedom over there for real, for real. Australia ninety eight percent, huh? That's dope. I, I like to go to Australia. There's some places that I, that are pictures from Australia that I'm like, how? That's a real place? What? I must investigate. I uh, I don't believe some of those. I think they're freaking Photoshop. Yeah, cause there's some Photoshop amazingness out there. Canada number four. Yeah, 99% free, bitch. Wait, did we skip the United States? Finland. Finland's like 100% free. Finland also received a score of 100 in Freedom, Freedom House's 2017 report. Wait a minute, where, where's the United States? We're not on the list, homie? America. According to this list, the top 20 freest countries in the world are Hong Kong, United States. Okay, it's on here. Hong Kong top the index economic freedom. Economic freedom. 
with the score of 9.1. America's growth rate is 0.71%. Australia's growth rate is 1.28%. Oh, shit, fuck. The top six most free countries. Hong Kong. Singapore. New Zealand. Switzerland. Australia. Ireland, huh? Where's the United States, bro? Oh, 12. We're number 12, bro. Hong Kong's pretty dope, huh? Damn, Mexico 66, homie. What's up with this gray? Oh, nobody lives there? Greenland? Nobody lives in Greenland now? Interesting. Well, that goes to show, guys. Like, I guess it's still really fortunate, though. Like, let's look at that map again. It's like, if you're born in any of these dark spots... You're extremely fortunate. You should pat yourself in the back. Like, oh, you're gonna survive. It's kind of sad. Look at these, like, super white areas. Venezuela's not doing good. There's basically a civil war happening in Venezuela right now. Like, I'm not a big guy for news, but fuck. Like, the president's super corrupt. And... But the, he still has supporters, though. So... I don't know what the deal is out there, you know? I don't know what we got going on here either, really. I gotta watch something funny, bro. I think it's YouTube time. Something funny and cool. Yeah, like, um, the Mueller report, Trump. Oh, actually, I like The Daily Show. Like, this is clever. Like, the writing on this shit. Mm. What is the deal with 5G? And why are the U.S. and China oh, yeah. going to war over it? Because you might think it's just 4G, but a little bit faster. But it's actually a lot faster. So fast, in fact, that it could change the world. <clears throat> That's, that brings me to something. My roommate was saying some shit about 5G being harmful for G, for you because it's sending such a strong signal. And I'm like, that can't be fucking real. You're fucking stupid. Come on. That's ridiculous. No, no business would ever distribute a service that would potentially kill all of their clients. They'll lose all their money. What the fuck? Okay, 5G dangerous. We can ask an expert. Hmm. Yeah, let's ask an expert. Harnessing millimeter wave MM. M wave millimeter wave okay spectrum for faster data speeds is one of the biggest breakthroughs in 5g the next generation cellular network technology following 4g l radiation does not cause cancer by damaging dna cells but still are ongoing studies regarding the effects of non ionizing radiation blah 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 what about 5g the fda told digital treads treads that at this time it continues to believe that the current safety limit for cell phone frequency energy exposure remains acceptable 5g there's not enough data so far it's good it's dealing with in different frequency of waves and they have not studied it long enough to know for sure that it's harmful. And my roommate was going on and on that this shit is military grade, homie. It's gonna fucking cook your brain as you're talking on the phone. I'm like, are you serious?
Things are good. Life is good. The only thing is that every now and then she goes goes array. Array? Array. Array. Shit goes to shit. And I don't fucking know why I trip. I can't control other people's motives. I can't control other people in general. So why do I trip about shit? That's all right. It's all right. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm not. I'm. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm. I'm cool. I'm super cool, bro. Clearly, I'm not cool. So, when I'm not cool, I seek for advice. Because I'm not a selfish, I should say, I'm not a completely selfish prick. Sometimes I know I'm wrong. And I know I'm fucking freaking out over nothing. But yet, I don't want to talk about it. Check out my posters. My favorite one's up there. I don't think I don't think you could see it. But it looks like that. And uh it it says it all right there. Let that shit go, homie. And guess what I've been doing? Letting that shit go. <laughs> Even though I keep bringing it up cuz it keeps popping up. Got work on Wednesday. Man, I fucking spaced out. I was thinking, how am I going to get to work? Hmm. I'm not like cool right now. I'm not going to use anything on this episode. I thought this was going to be my, f my first episode. It's going to be super dope. And uh, be filled with excitement. And I'm going to make everyone laugh. And I'm going to be clever and witty. But I just suck. Boom. Subscribe. Uh, like. I'm gonna make more shit. It's gonna be dope. I'm gonna learn how to read. Probably not, cause it's way more entertaining. Entertaining. I gotta stop stuttering too. It's just gonna get better, bro. Because just thinking about knowing that a bunch of people are watching this, just like, Ugh. somebody might know you in the real world and judge you from afar. It's like, ah, I don't want that. Wait, people do that all the time. You know what I mean? Joe said something funny the other day. The Joe Rogan experience. That kind of convinced me about... Just because there's no digital evidence of you fucking up doesn't mean you never fucked up. I fanboy out when I met you, but I'm a huge fan. And this is my digital evidence that I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I fucked up. Shouldn't I got that high and that drunk? Fuck. Take it easy, homie, next time. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my fucking show, Holmes. Fuck it, bro. I'm good or I'm not. It's supposed to be entertaining. I called it the Mario Martinez show because guess who I am? Yeah, Billy Smith. <laughs> and I call it a show cuz I'm me I'm I'm meaning to entertain. People shouldn't take me completely serious. You know? You should you should enjoy watching my show. 
why I'm calling it a show. I might get serious. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this show. I don't I don't have a summary of what I, I think I can cannot do. I'm just gonna go every day and do something that I think I think people are gonna like. That I like. I like also. Hmm. Fuck it. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Isn't that like for food? I wouldn't mind some food. I just ate though. I can always eat again. How long is this? I'm not making it ridiculously long. All right, this I think this is enough. Th th you guys are gonna hate the show. I'm about to fill it with like really good music from someone else and just more entertaining shit. Just cat videos or, or adorable dogs. Ugh, what am I gonna do with this episode? It's probably gonna be terrible. Uh. The comments are gonna kill me. Oh, I better not look at the comments. These some some dudes are hilarious though. <laughs> it's just, oh my god, some people are fucking hilarious. Some of the, some of the things that people think about genius. But if I hear it about me, ugh, that's gonna be stuck in my head. I'm gonna be like, I'm never gonna speak that way again. I'm going to. Learn how to read. I'm not gonna get high again. I'm never gonna get drunk again. It'd probably strain me out. Ugh. I don't wanna do that either. Not right now. But what kind of shit would they come up with? Oh, they're gonna come up with some crazy fucking shit. I'm really fucking high, dude. I'm done. Alright.